Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today what I have for you is a first impression video. Recently I picked up some drugstore lipsticks that I was very excited about and actually wanted to share with you guys. I actually bought these, yeah, I bought these a couple days ago. I haven't, I actually haven't opened them. I haven't swatched them. So what it is, um, it is lipstick made by Burt, um, Burt's Bees. So if you guys are familiar with that company, that company actually makes, um, I think they make like chapsticks and, um, so like lip, chapsticks and lip glosses. And I've bought like chapsticks and stuff from them before and it really caught me like off guard when I saw that they had lipsticks. I was like, okay, let me, let me check this out. Um, only did the fact that they had lips, lipsticks caught, catch me off, but the fact that their packaging, like the packaging, I was just like, oh my God, like this is like probably like the most prettiest um, lipstick packaging that I have ever seen at the drugstore and I'm not exaggerating. So I picked up three colors um the three colors that i picked up is 515 and it's called tulip tide the second color i picked up is 501 it's called blush basin and the last one is 531 juniper juniper water Okay, hopefully I'm saying that right. This is what the packaging looks like. So if you see it, it's pretty much um, like a... I don't know how to explain this color, but it's like a dark purple. And then it has like this um, B type of... Uh, I'm not really good at explaining stuff, guys, but... Um, if you guys ever seen like a beehive, you know how it has like the weird, like the, sh the unique shaped bee stuff. Yeah. The honeycomb. Is that? Yeah. You, okay. So you know if you look at like a honeycomb, um, you see like the, the shapes of the honeycomb. And that's pretty much, I guess, where they got their inspiration from was a beehive. So the actual color um, of the, that you see on the inside, I guess is the color of the actual lipstick. Because when you get a different color, of course the color, that's not it, I don't think you can see it on the camera, but the color changes according to the color of the lipstick. So yeah, so I saw this and I was like, let me pick this up and give this a try. Again, this is my first time trying these. I haven't even opened them yet. Okay, so let's see how they look. So the first color I'm gonna start off with is Tulip Tide. I picked up this color because it, from the outside packaging, it looks like it's like a purplish, cool purplish color. That's what it looks like. But when I open it, it's actually like a pink. But it's a really pretty color. And I, again, like even opening, like the this packaging is so pretty. It's so pretty. When I did get this, when I did pick up the lipstick, I kind of figured it probably wasn't going to be as pigmented as I as a lot of other lipsticks are so this one is really not that pigmented but it's still nice I really like it it's a subtle um, pink so you guys can see that so it's a natural pink and you can probably wear this with just about anything so the next lipstick is blush basin and this is like a nude color you can't ever have enough nudes in your collection so I was like okay let me just try give this a try And this is really cute. I really like this color. This color is like a very, like, I can't explain it, but I really like it. And the last one is this dark color, uh, Juniper Water. June, if I'm, I think I'm saying it right. J-U-N-I-P-E-R, Juniper Water. So we're going to see how that one comes out. Purplish color. This color is a nice color. I just don't think it goes with the makeup that I have on right now. But it's very nice. It gives like a lip of a, like a stain. Like it looks like a stain. Like it's, it's really natural. It doesn't look um, like crazy. You know how like when you buy dark lipsticks, like they're like pow. Like it's a dark lipstick, but it's, it's still like natural. It's not too much. So that's what I like. That's what I'm liking about these lipsticks. So, um, I will say the, the company was true to, um, 
what makes them them so it's not like they came out with the lipstick and it was completely different from their other type of products that they carry if that makes any sense so it's not like they came out with like pigmented MAC lipsticks like they came out with lipsticks that were subtle um, natural and very um, chapsticky I'm not really good at explaining stuff guys but yeah I really like it um, would I buy more colors yes I would definitely buy more colors um, these are probably gonna be go on with my favorites somewhere like these I'm gonna have sitting out so I can just grab them um, daily I probably read I will probably reach for these dailies because they're natural colors and they're subtle and they're not too much and um, I definitely would recommend these lipsticks for people that like they want to get into wearing lipsticks but they don't like stuff that's very pigmented and very bright um, I would definitely recommend buying these if that is you these lipsticks um, when I purchased them I think they retail for about like nine dollars nine thirty nine nine dollars each if I'm not mistaken I bought these from Walgreens I'm not sure what, uh, where else they sell these at simply because I live in Hawaii and there is like sometimes like there's when they have like like certain pro like drugstore products, drug drugstore lipsticks, I can only get it at one particular type of store. I'm not sure how it is in the mainland. You guys might be able to find these elsewhere, but I bought these at my local Walgreens for, I, if I'm not mistaken, $9 each. So I am definitely happy with this purchase and I do plan um, to try some more lipsticks from them. I don't know, hopefully they might come out with some other cosmetics, you never know. But yeah, that is pretty much what I have for you guys. Um, please thumbs up if you do like these first impression videos. If you guys actually have um, any drugstore products that you would like me to test out, um, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, brownbeauty808. Um, hopefully soon I will have my vlog up which is brownbeautyhawaii.com. Um, thanks again, guys, for watching, and I will see you guys soon.